I'm basically uh, riding to the start of All Points North this year. I am not riding, but I'm doing the Audax tomorrow. So me and Nikki are heading to, I think this is the right way, to cheer our, um, all the riders off. Yeah, this is where I finished. I've not ridden here since that is exactly where I finished. Oh, it honestly makes me really feel really teary. Look at the wall. It makes me want to do it. Because this weather is just so good for it. We're making our own adventure tomorrow though and we'll probably see some of the riders. So we're just cheer squad this year. I need to show you this bike. You are going to go mad when you see it. Tandem, two chains. And the seat, look how far it goes. it's an aero tandem. <laughs> That's insane. I've not been in your videos yet. Can I have my big toe in your videos? <laughs> Alright, we've seen this. This is Rich. He's doing all but so. He it... ripped his shoe because his toenail. It still makes me feel sick. His toenail was that long and thick. <laughs> it ripped his shoe. Like, ripped. Ripped a <laughs> hole in his, his shoe. You could use that as your thumbnail. Do <laughs> you know? I don't know. <laughs> in there at uni. So today, first Audax this year and it's May. 213 kilometers from Sheffield up to my favorite, favorite place, the Dales. Let's do it. All our stuff. It's gonna be, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so I didn't explain what we're actually doing. So this weekend, is All Points North. If you don't know what All Points North is, I will leave a link to my video when I did it last year. Uh, it's like 1100k around basically the hardest climbs in the north of the UK. And me and Nikki, well, Nikki did it as well last year. Um, but they also, and you, and and Tori, who run All Points North, they also put Audax on the same weekend. So it's 200k up, 200k back. We're just doing the 200k up, and then I think we're just gonna make our own ways. Like home, you're going back. Where are you actually going back to? Harrogate. Oh, Harrogate. I'm going back to Manchester. But yeah, this is the 200k up. And I forgot, like, look how much stuff we've got. I forgot how hard it is to ride hills with a loaded bike. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm flagging. We've done like 60k. And I'm like, this is hard. And then I remembered. And it's hot. The people that do an all points north this weekend. <laughs> very jammy because we got torrential rain i was riding in the rain for 12 hours it <laughs> I think was I would grim have preferred that, actually. you'd have preferred rain to this well, i absolutely would not as as I was warm enough. no i'd rather have the heat any any day of the week They've got extra space, and I think there's, I think there's 140 people doing it. Is that yeah, right? A lot, isn't there? Get the dots up. Bloody hell! How do you follow this? <laughs> Chaos across the lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are all out this weekend, or have been out this weekend, doing all the bike rides. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go and do. Oh, there's like Tan Hill, Butter Tubs. Like Butter Tubs is. I think I'd enough on like just your normal bike without all this and this and this. <laughs> this is all I can. So basically, I don't know if I've told you, but we're basically bivvying up there. So as part of the Audax, you can stay at the Dales Bike Centre. And so I'm guessing there's going to be a few of us just camping out and just be nice. No, actually, it's my first time camping in the Dales. Oh, this is oh that makes me really happy. Like my first time camping in the Dales. <laughs> Women love the Dales. It's so sick. I can't remember what this one's called. But it's steep. Oh my god. Look how good this route is. Honestly, I love, love this place. 
And do you know what? This is actually why I like it because it reminds me so much of the Dales. And we get to go to the Dales today as well. It was, she was saying, she's like, I'm close to bonking. I need to get food. She was like, I've got the shakes. Do you know what? We have, I definitely have underestimated how much longer stuff takes you when you've got all your camping gear. And we're taking ages to do it. <laughs> oh my god, like it's we start off at like what quarter past eight? It's almost two o'clock, we've not done hundred K yet. Like how is it taking this long? Oh, so we're gonna have a little stop at Lidl. Um uh, so I think this is gonna be like the last food stop until we actually get up into the Dales, because the Dales, as much as I love it, there's no shops. I think that's kind of why I love it because there's just no like there's just nobody there. It's just big fields and loads of sheep and love it. The, also the thing with camping is, um, or bivvy, because we've got bivvies, is that you have to take the same amount of stuff whether you're going to do one night or a week, like that is the exact same what I would take if I was doing a week or the one night like we're doing tonight. Do you know what, I'm so boring, I always get the same stuff whenever I go to any shop. Although Lidl has got amazing, like amazing, amazing um, vegan sushi. Don't shoot pizza for now. <laughs> Don't shoot pizza for later. Bunker's gun. Right, look. I think you've got a bit of a problem. <laughs> I just love them. This is why I really like bike rides because in what other scenario would you ever just pull up by the side of the road and just have a little lie down? The thing is, we're not even getting down to, to sleep. We're just getting down <laughs> we're just, to it. We're just getting down. We've just been like here, just having a little heart to heart, just chatting. <laughs> it's nice. And then look what I can see. No, does that mean we quit out Tamil? Yeah. No, let's see how we feel when we get there. Quite all out. these hills with all this crap on up, I say crap, mm -hmm. all this extra weight. And I've realised, I was thinking, I've got about half a kilo of them, <laughs> of them <laughs> if I was in my back. I don't, I'm riding back tomorrow, so I was like, oh, I'll get them while, while I can, because everything will be shut tomorrow. Carrying all the half a kilo out. of hi like hippos. That makes me so happy, that view. Oh, there's a train going over it! One of my favourite views oh, wow. in the Dales. I want it to be a steam train though, but it's not. Look at Riverhead Viaduct. <laughs> and now we've just got, I say just, We've got butter tubs and tan hill to do. Although we're discussing whether we actually do a little shortcut and cut tan hill out. Butter tubs is coming. Oh my God. This climb, this climb is ridiculous. I've done it, I think I've done it both ways twice. So this will be the third time, but oh, it's so good. Although I wasn't saying that a minute ago, the God, I think it was like 20%. 20%, I keep saying it, but all that weight is like, feels like 50%. Which way are you gonna go? Go that way. No. Nope. Which way are you gonna go? Okay, thank you. It's okay. Oh, thank you, sheepy. I can't fib to you. Today's been really tough. Just cause it's just been just long and hilly. And did I mention my bike's quite heavy? Um, but this view, I'm gonna spin you around in a second, is just, worth the whole day. Are you ready? I mean, that's pretty, oh, you can't see, I've just come over the top of the hill. Um, but look at this. How beautiful is that? Hey! What a climb. <laughs> Tamil. what do you reckon? I've got a bit of a knee niggle, actually. I've got an excuse. We want to get back to, so where the Dales Bike Centre is, that's it's where the check, now. one of the checkpoints, what? It's seven o'clock now. So we just basically we want to get back and then just literally have to get straight into Bivvies. We wanted to like see people. Um Kate, one of our friends, is one manning the controls. I think David's there as well. They're manning that control. So we're just like oh, that steep bit I was so close to getting off. That last little kicker. I was like, oh that is a swine. But it's so steep. Yeah, like, I could I d I couldn't look. All I was looking at was the floor in front of me. I was like, I can't and do you know what I have to do on those climbs? I have to count to fifty. 
I can't I can't think about anything else so I get out the saddle I told you this before it's like a little little trick that I do 50 is quite a lot why don't you do like no it has to be 50 10 and then because 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 generally fifth by 50 pedal strokes I'm at the top of the thing that I'm like oh my god this is really steep yeah generally 50 but then if I if it's more than that I have to go back to one I can't go more because my brain can't count above 50 when I'm on a climb do you know what it is like do you know like when you're laughing you can't pedal. I almost feel like when I'm trying to do maths in my head, I can't. I can't do it when I'm on the climb. So 50. 50 is a magic number. But I was in the bivvy once. I've had to put like a really long tag on the zip because there's about 50 zippers in it. And I got in it and I was... <laughs> I know. But I got in it and I got really... Yeah, story <laughs> tender. <laughs> Go on, it's a good one. <laughs> Way. and then I've got I had to put like a really bright fluorescent like whole big strip on it on the zip because I want got once was in it and it got really hot if you've been in a bivvy you know it's kind of like boiling the bag and I was like sweating in the middle of the night and I was like oh I need to get some air I couldn't breathe because apparently you're not meant to zip them all the way up I zipped mine all the way it's just a body bag, isn't it? It, I couldn't get out of it and I started having a little panic attack and I was like oh can't get out i'm gonna die in this thing so i've had to put a massive like emergency pull cord on it so i can get out just... let's go and see Kay. let's go and see david let's go and see the all points northers exactly let's go and have a shower and get in a shower and... and i've got i think i've got some hippos in there for my tea <laughs> <laughs> is that your tea it's fully half a kilo of thank you That is why this is my favourite, favourite, favourite place ever in the world to ride. How's Alex doing? Hey! We found our first All Points Northler. Oh mm. Everything bright. Hello, Roxy. Wow. No, smoothies. 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 Get the smoothies in. See you later. Well done. You're oh, absolutely yeah, smashing oh, it. Oh. Hello. <laughs> no. Get your stamp. Well done, you're doing Thank awesome. You. How are you feeling? Awful. Oh. Um, so I've I've decided I'm not doing Norham Castle. Don't do I, it. I can't I can't do it. Have um, it. Don't worry about it. It's an adventure. Yeah. I'm at like 400 something. That's mega. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, we've just done the 200 Odax and we cut Tan Hill off because we were like, we can't be bothered. Oh, today. I just came over that. <laughs> you're doing amazing. Hey, how are you? Oh, that's a good angle. This is why Odax is so good. Look what we've got! We've got... Oh god, there's Coke as well. And there's a vegan sandwich apparently for me. Not pillow either, have you? <laughs> this is actually quite a glamorous setup because we were going to go on the grass. Well, there are midges everywhere so this was like a little bit we might end up going back over there i do we kind of regret now i've just got <laughs> these shorts i'm like why i've got my, got my little uh, hot pants on <laughs> hello hello well done evening This is nice though, it is comfy and everyone's out chatting. Do you like it now? <laughs> it's a little bit imposing when someone stood over you like that though. And so basically this is the manned control, one control for All Points North, sponsored by Rayab. And yeah, so we've, this is where the Audax has finished, well finished the first day. And then this is a control point for All Points North. So we've seen so many people come in from obviously on the Ordax that we were on and then from All Points North, which has been so, so nice. So yeah, just gonna sleep for the night unless uh, old gymnast is. <laughs> See you in that morning. Good morning. I slept so well. I've had like eight hours sleep. I don't wanna get up there. Ordex is clip clopping around. It's quite nice and cozy in here. Look. <laughs> How was the bush shelter? I think it was actually quite warm. I was 
It's really nice. Yeah, I was really tasty. <laughs> it was worth carrying it around. <laughs> oh, look how nice it is, watch, when you go down. You can just fling it over your head, watch. This is how I go to sleep. Close. <laughs> Open. <laughs> Someone's ridden over a mat. Flip it around. <laughs> definitely, that's definitely it. Like I've definitely not tried to. That's a 32, isn't it? <laughs> is it? Is it? Does it match? What show was the special thing that they do? Look how small that's they are. Like the ultimate bike. <laughs> but Kate was saying that like she's like they're so Wha ugly, and I was like, yeah, they're not nice. I was Wha like, oh. And, are you ready? Form. If you lose your gloves, <laughs> waterproof bags, you can still, yeah. you can do flippy things, but not. This is how we know <laughs> you've not had much sleep. <laughs> so I'm setting off, you're going to go back to Arrogate. Arrogate, and I'll see you I love this place so much, I'm going up, can you see that massive hill up in front? That's where I'm going. I've not planned the return trip home very well. Well, I have planned it well, but I didn't realise I've taken myself up Park Garage. Actually, it's the reverse side of it, which I don't think is as steep. Uh, but I've never done it, so I guess that's good. And it says I was riding on Cam Gill Road. I'm like, oh, that is the other side of Park Garage. I like doing uh, routes that I've not done before and I've definitely not done it. I've always been back this way, but I've not gone up it this way. I do love park rash though. Just not with all my blooming luggage. These cows at the top. Hi. It's like a Highland cow over there. That way up park rash. Infinitely more gradual. There's one tiny little steep corner, but so, so lovely. And now I've never ever descended Park Rash, so quite looking forward to it. No one here. Nobody around. This is why I love the Dales. There's never anybody here. It's always so quiet. But look at this. This is exactly why the Dales is my favourite, favourite place to ride. My happy place because there's nobody here. I've seen a couple of cyclists, a couple of farmers and loads of sheep, loads of cows. And just look at it, it's just, ugh. I just think with the lakes, not that it's a direct comparison, but I just think with the lakes, it's just always so busy and hectic and loads of traffic. But this, it's like, there's literally just me here. Uh, yeah, just have a nice steady ride back. I've done like 30K. I think the route today is maybe 130, so 100K to go. Let me describe how much I love this place. It, it's like, Oh, I just, I can't get it across. I just wish I could share like the, uh, the feeling that I have for this place, because love it. Right, let's descend. I'm just on the corner where it hits 25%. It is crazy steep if you've not seen it, but look at this view over here. Oh, I just love it, look. This is where I'm riding after. Can you see that? All that winding. Hill up. Look, car coming up. Steep. Steep, steep, steep. <laughs> just ridden down. Park Rash. I'm, I'm actually still getting out of it. And I've just seen Kev and his missus. The guys who I ride with from Rafa. I was just like, what? They rode past. I was like, Kev, Kev. Um, and so, yeah, they're going to go and... They're braver than I am today. I would not want to do Park Rash today. So, yeah. That was just, oh, so nice. Hello. I love how their jaws go like this. When they eat. Another one of my favourite views in the Dales is this like rock face. I don't know you can see. Look at the climbers climbing up it. I've been studying for like five minutes just being like, that is so impressive to me. Look at that guy up there. He's literally like there. Not for me though, but very very impressive just come to this little gate and going on a road i've never done before so i've done a lot of the roads in the dales but it's like a nice little lane i'm back at the exact same middle that we were at yesterday but you know coconut water blueberries this sushi honestly is 
the best sushi, vegan sushi you can get. It's only three ninety nine. Look at all that you get. I think I've only got about fifty k left, but I was like, Do you know what? I'm not gonna rush back. I'm just gonna sit out on this lovely warm floor outside Little and uh, yeah, just get me um, get me sushi. Got about fifty k left to do, and now it's just gonna be all built up. Not rubbish road. Yeah, just kind of like busy roads compared to the Dale, so yeah, probably not going to film much, so catch up with me in a little bit. I've not got that far to ride back and it is all like busy, not nice roads, so I'll leave a link to All Points North and the Ordax, and thank you for watching and I'll see you next video.